Capcom, a video game developing slash publishing juggernaut that's been around since the dawn of video games with so many huge titles under their belt, including Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Mega Man, Breath of Fire, and more, with Mega Man and Breath of Fire being my personal favorites. A title more recently birthed by Capcom that has gained quite a bit of popularity is Dragon's Dogma. Originally releasing back in 2012, the original Dragon's Dogma became a hit, garnering another popular IP to add to Capcom's repertoire of amazing titles. Naturally, the popularity of the original Dragon's Dogma led to a sequel that was released this year. However, there was another title in the series. No, not that weird download game that came out on mobile and PS Vita systems. No, we're talking about the MMORPG Dragon's Dogma Online. What? Yeah, if you didn't know that Dragon's Dogma had an MMORPG, well, you're probably not alone. It was never released outside of Japan, so a lot of you probably don't know it even existed. Releasing back in 2015, about three years after the original game, Dragon's Dogma Online ran for a short four years before closing its servers in 2019. It's wild to think that an MMORPG inspired by Western RPG designs never released in Western territories but hey, here we are. However, in 2023, a fan revival project had sprung up. Now, I had never actually played any of the Dragon's Dogma games previously, not because they didn't interest me, but because I just never had the time to jump into them. But after playing Dragon's Dogma online, I can see why the franchise is so popular, at least gameplay-wise. I found myself jumping in with the boys, slaying giant beasts, and exploring the darkest dungeons, absolutely loving the feel of the action combat system. All completely for free like many of the fan projects we've covered on the channel. So after giving Dragon's Dogma Online a spin, what do I think about it? Well, let's get into it. DDO's storyline, as far as I've been able to find, has no relation to the mainline games and is considered its own separate canon. Unfortunately, it was even apparently cut short due to the game's shutdown. DDO's storyline follows your created character in the land of Lestania. You are an Arisen, a warrior touched by the White Dragon's power, tasked to defend the world against the impending monstrous invasions and carry out the dragon's will, aka the dragon's dogma. Creating a new character allows you to watch the main story cutscene that gives more context to the lands of Lestania and the Arisen. Character creation in Dragon's Dogma Online, while rather old at this point, has quite a lot of options, more so than I was expecting. It has all the normal options like being able to choose between male or female, select between presets, randomize your look, mess with the custom sliders, but I was surprised at how many hair, eye, and mouth styles you could choose, as well as your character's voice. Anyways, once you are done customizing your look, you then make a name similar to Final Fantasy XIV, where you have to make a first name and then a last name. Once that's all set, you then choose a class. The class choice here doesn't really matter since you can swap to the other classes in town anyways. So choose one and then the game begins. You begin the game with a small little tutorial quest that actually doesn't work. <laughs> Oh wait, you serious? Yeah, get used to that. Once you disconnect and log back in, you'll be in the game's actual main town hub. As you can probably tell by the footage and if you are currently playing, Dragon's Dogma Online doesn't really have the greatest graphics even for its time. Most likely the game's graphics took a reduced approach to allow the game to run on PlayStation 3 and 4 hardware, as well as allowing it to run on most PCs during its years. Don't get me wrong, the graphics aren't terrible or anything, but compare it to something like Black Desert Online, which is actually older than DDO, and you can see that graphically, it's pretty dated compared to other MMORPGs for the time. The sound and music department, however, is pretty great, which isn't surprising coming from a mainline Capcom title, with my favorite tune probably being the crafting room theme.
Getting back to the main features of Dragon's Dogma Online, from the hub you have a number of different things you can interact with. Crafting, NPCs, other players, the beauty shop, specific NPC shops, and the tavern where you can change vocations. One thing you'll probably run into while you play, though, is disconnects. As many times as you will crash or time out while playing Dragon's Dogma Online, you would think it's an added feature of the game. Jokes aside, the game is still in the restoration phase of development, so fully expect many of the game's menus or features to not work or to be outright broken. However, what is here is working and is actually pretty solid. The main draw will be the game's combat system. DDO's combat is taken straight from Dragon's Dogma 1, having a real-time action combat system. The combat essentially plays like a medieval Devil May Cry with a stamina bar taken from the Souls-like series. Monsters attack in real time and your character can run, jump, grab, block, attack, string combos, cast spells, and then finally the most fun thing you can do is climb on top of monsters and attack their body parts. Combat just has so many ways you can approach the situation, and it goes even deeper when you start messing with the character customization. Like other MMORPGs, you can and customize how you engage in combat with your choice in what vocation you play. The vocations in DDO are Fighter, Hunter, Shield Sage, Priest, Sorcerer, Seeker, Elemental Archer, Warrior, Alchemist, Spirit Lancer, and High Scepter. Like Final Fantasy XIV, each vocation has their own separate level, and you actually get benefits for leveling up each one. For example, you can equip perks, aka augments, from other vocations, but only after you've earned them. But wait! Another form of progression and customization is from the Dragon Augmentation System. Dragon Augmentation is a passive skill tree, basically, that grants passive skill bonuses and other little perks. Each little node either requires you to level up your account's total level through leveling up all of your vocations, or it requires you to grind blood orbs, which are dropped by boss monsters. Not all of the Dragon Augmentation systems work currently, but there is still a ton of grinding you can do to make your character as powerful as possible. Each class can be leveled all the way up to 85, so along with the Dragon Augmentation System, good luck maxing everything. Of course the grinding is really going to depend on how much you like the combat system though at the end of the day, because there really isn't much else to do in the game, at least not yet. Crafting is very rudimentary because you can largely just buy the materials you need to craft each item. There is no progression currently currently implemented for crafting. Any crafting items that require you to get more elaborate materials currently have no way to obtain them, or if there is a way to obtain them, no one really knows how. Questing isn't really implemented yet either, so it really is just a big monster slaying simulator for now. But honestly, I've had so much fun just dungeon delving killing monsters with buddies, tackling incredibly challenging beasts by the skin of our teeth. Looking online, you can see that there is so much more that the game has to offer, like higher level caps, more in-game content like raids, and of course a ton of other features that just haven't been re-implemented yet. All the group content the game has, especially raids, makes me excited to see what gets re-implemented next. But even if you don't have a dedicated group to play with, you can always play with your group of AI partners called the Pawns, whom are all completely customizable just like your character. So if it wasn't enough maxing out your character, well then go Go ahead and max out all your pawns too. Imagine how the game will be in a few years as the features slowly get added back to the game, and once everything works again, I can definitely see it being even more fun than it is now. Well, that's all for Dragon's Dogma Online, so I gotta ask the viewers, did you know about Dragon's Dogma Online? Do you want to give it a try and join the community now after this video? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support my content, follow all my social media down in the the description below and i hope to see you all in the next video bro she's all up inside you dude yeah. <laughs>